Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Harvest League 3.11. In this episode, we got builder reviews to do. So, if you don't know on my Twitch, uh, you can type exclamation point build review, one word, and then it will pull up the way you can uh, enter to do a build review. Okay, so when you save up channel points on my Twitch, you get to enter your like profile and why you need a build review, and then I can review your build. Apparently, nobody knows how to enter their build properly because nobody lists a reason why. So that's cool, but we got a bunch of build reviews. Thanks, guys. Let's uh, get through these. Let's go from the oldest through. So we're going to start with HL Ghosty. Here we go. So what I, my idea is we're going to pull up the person's... Okay, his account's name, his account's name is wrong. Uh, great. That's a great start, dude. Alright, we're, we're, okay, so what we do here is we're just going to reject this and refund his points. Next one, uh, we're going to do Rico. We're just going to go in order from oldest to newest. I refund so many of Rico's build reviews. Okay, here we go. 92, carry on these nuts. Thank you, Rico, for the build review submission. All right, now we can get into it. Unreserved mana of negative 14. What happened there? He's got the aspect of the avian just like me. Probably not using it. He, he doesn't know what to do. He probably switched to the Brass Dome, actually, so he probably isn't using it for sure. Uh, those are extra carry on golems. Okay, we got this with Impale, so it does he doesn't have the triple yet. He's got the easy value cluster jewel. Okay. Big value. Oh, uh, we got that. Okay, he's life. He's got the middle. He's missing one point. Unlucky, dude. Man, that extra regen would be so nice. Okay. Nice stuff, 112 dex. Wait, what does he use for movement then if he doesn't... Wait, he has it. Wait. Oh. So, something I learned is that you should, instead of efficacy, Run sec second wind if you're gonna do this, and then with and also it doesn't levels increase the base second. Okay, I don't know. Never mind. Either way, I think that actually works. But second wind instead, uh, and then it's just better. Okay, so you use Val haste, yeah. Dread Banner Generosity, you got no quality on anything. You should probably flip your gems. You should probably flip all of your gems for the free. This whole time, you you I don't know how long they've been leveled, but you're missing that. At least you have your levels, that's good. Um, you came down for Indomitable Army because your shit was dying. This isn't usually worth it. More strength, more regen, more life. Uh, and uh, otherwise, uh, this extra 10 minion life. If you were to do it, you should put it here then, because the Ellie res actually helps them, like a lot. And so actually when I did this, I took Ellie res instead of physical damage reduction, because the whole point of this node was it's a lot of Ellie res, so you can get 23. And then it's kind of like Elemental Army, how it gives 30. Um, and I'm, and I'm going to start doing, like, actually capping them and, and maxing them and doing, like, a tank build. Because I feel, I realize we can just do so much goddamn damage with this build to where when you really pull back the damage, it starts to look clean. Uh, this is nice, though. I think with just small changes, it looks really good. And uh, obviously you have a lot of... You still have to get currency and stuff. So some of the stuff I would work on is like, um, honestly, I think a 21 carry on is better than the 2120. Uh, this is just something I noticed and it's cheaper, I think. 
uh so so you just buy a normal 21 maybe people caught on to that and it raised the price but but uh, i'll just leave it like this and then uh yeah you could flip your gems and before yeah awaken melee was really was was cheaper but now yeah 4x or something but it adds intimidate obviously we didn't pick any of the actual stuff here so feeding frenzy power frenzy uh mim he doesn't have intimidate because the thing so if he had intimidate if he had melee fizz awaken melee fizz just for the one gem 4x it's just a pure upgrade it's you don't lose anything it's really crazy um and then yeah the extra quality on things is gonna feel amazing because that extra aura radius um yeah this is my tips otherwise looks great man love it you should probably try the divine flush um like take out this use this use the uh glorious vanity try it out also how are you so if you guys don't know in the build primordial eminences versus harmonies for our build you want to have um so for example the f if if you're building it the best jewel is anima stone for the primordials the second one is primordial might then you need two more primordials so for the next primordial you would get a primordial harmony it's the next best you would look for 20% increased golem damage so that's or like the the increased golem damage for each type of golem is the main stat you look for try to get that 20 then the the second stat for golems so if you look golems have 37% increased cooldown recovery speed this one yeah it can be whatever but uh, you would like it to be 40 or higher of like 40 to 45 but uh, obviously when you're first starting out just getting them in the build for cheap is ideal so when you're first starting out and you're poor just get these don't worry about the stats really J just get them cheap uh, and then you'll get one one harmony and then you'll get a might uh, sorry I messed it up take it so the first jewel after might is a harmony, like I said, and you care about the golem damage and the cooldown of the second stat, not the first one. And then the next jewel is an eminence. You care about the attack speed of the golems. 20 is nice. You don't have to, but it's nice. Armor on the golems is nice. You don't have to. Okay. And then you go back to an extra harmony for the third jewel. And then you go back to a fourth harmony. Like you go to another harm, you go to an eminence for the fourth one, and then a harmony, and then an eminence. So you just alternate back and forth, filling out your build with the with an equal amount. Basically, it doesn't have to be like two of this, two of this equal. It can be two and one, or two and three, or three and two, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But like usually, you prioritize the harmony over the eminence as your next one if you're gonna add an odd number then do that all right these are my overall tips nice build though solid as fuck and uh the only other thing you're missing is try out this broken uh jewel because that's why you're a life build and why it's so broken that's why you stay life if you don't use this divine flesh you should be c-i-e-s uh okay mark is complete next build so we'll generate this and i'll Put it in the description with Rico. Uh, put it here. Rico. There we go. And now. Let's back. New. Don't look at all those. Okay. Weird builds I used to do. And I used POB a lot. Trying anyways. So the next uh, build review we have is this guy his thing is happy end i know this guy let's review it this is gonna these are feeling good man getting some build reviews done again feels like i've i've been so caught up with the season and it's finally time to chill a little bit and uh and catch up with my viewers builds and really help them and make sure they're they're not too far off honestly it's pretty good for now no clusters great start great start okay this is a good build to look at. This is really good. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to assume the normal stuff. I'm going to go down. We're going to get the mem. We're going to put in the Cyrus. Okay. Now we can actually look. So what did he do? No flipping of gems. He did the 21 carry on. This guy's a god. 
He doesn't have the awakened melee fizz yet. Love this guy. He he had the 21 carry on. Look, he's got the frost roll. He's already blight. No fucking way. 200k damage is enough. So instead of desecrate, run second wind. Put in desecrate when you when you wanna. When you want to uh, summon shit and just leave it in your inventory, you don't actually need it um, equipped, and it saves you a gem socket. It's kind of like portal. You could just bring a portal gem. So yeah, he had the mim and the feeding frenzy. Uh, so yeah, sick. Nice. And so he would probably say, "My AG is dying because it's only level 18. It's awful. Don't use your AG." Um, you have only 73 impale, 71 impale, and so obviously you know that a cluster jewel would really help you with the rotting claws. Um, this pathing path is a little weird. Um, I get what you've done here. But overall, I like it. Um... You don't have the jewel yet. This is a careful planning. Turns it all to decks. That's pretty cool. Uh, your negative 5 chaos res. I would recommend to get that. You're very early on. So the things I would point out is probably looking at better flasks. Working at your flasks would be a big improvement for where you're at. Basically, I'm not going to do the general like late game advice because that's silly. I'm going to help you for where you're at. Some flasks, some alterations, you're spending a little bit. Okay, you have a few of them. But a couple better other ones uh, rolled could really help. Uh, you have Harmony, Harmony, Eminence, Harmony. You can run one more Eminence instead of a Harmony. This is actually a fun opportunity for testing out my advice. Alright, let's see if it actually works. Let's just take an Eminence, randomly rolled. Let's take this Harmony, randomly rolled. And let's swap it to my Eminence. No, it's slightly worse. Okay, dude. But they have armor and you have the effect of the golems, which is the regen and the armor, the physical damage reduction. It's not bad. Eminences are pretty fucking good, okay? And they're cheaper. And so it's actually not bad to like go eminences over a billion harmonies to save currency. It's not terrible, especially for when you're early. Um, an, an early anoint in your ami is really powerful. Um, the next advice would be if you can get an early cluster jewel that has one jewel socket and rotten claws, I'll show you a trade. I'll do this with you guys. So you would search rotten claws, jewel socket, search. And so 4C, 5C, 10C, 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 blah, 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 cheap, 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 cheap. How many can you fucking buy? Oh, wait, they have to be 8 socket, I lied. Give me a sec. Sixty, sixty-six, seventy, seventy, seventy-five, eighty. 70, 70, 75, 80. It's still not that bad, okay? It's really good for early, okay? Watch how broken this is. Now, just bear with me here. Just, if you spent 60C, you bought a 21 carry-on, or you got lucky. Um, and now let's say you... You socket this, you put it in, you pick all that shit, you go to 89, missing one, it's fine, put it here, easy. Now, 242, easy damage increase, dude. And that's without even using the gem socket yet. We have an extra gem, so you could put it in the extra harmony. 268. It's disgusting! And that's just a Rotting Claws uh, bonus effect because the Impale and then, yeah, getting that and getting an extra Jewel. 
instead of tree stuff. If you wanted power, it's pretty powerful. It's pretty cheap. It's an alternative to what you had. Um, obviously, you don't have to do that. And then, so the upgraded flask, possible jewel cluster, and uh, you could flip your gems too. So if you don't know, you can sell your gems to the vendor with one gem cutter's prism and it'll give it back it'll sell it like it'll give you a, a recipe that will give you the gem back with 20 percent quality level one and then you have to level it again so it's free um but overall like what you've done if you can get the glorious vanity if you can cap your chaos res that would be great 75 chaos res would be insane maybe up your armor armor early is so insane like a brass dome <laughs> you're probably using a six link nice to Nice suit budget as hell. It's amazing. Actually, what you put together. I bet you have barely spent anything. You're doing great work, man. Doing great work. Good build, good build. Next one. I'm going to mark that as complete. Because he didn't actually leave a comment, but that's what... Oh, I have to... Uh... This is an import POB. The next one. Oh wait, I have to save this. The next one's an import POB. E. God damn. I had to do a p spam. I failed it. Okay. Must be a bot, dude. I can't. I can't fill out spam detection. Got it. Okay. Happy end. There we go, saved his. Next. We have a paste bin import, boom. Fail, awesome, we'll, we'll reject that. Next one. This is from Thirsty Work. Um, so this is apparently without skills, I think. This is just a page. No skills. Oh my god, I'm gonna love what they're putting together here. Wait, why wouldn't they use this if they're a life build? Okay. So apparently this is just the first iteration. Now I should see the... Wait, he sent me the same one. That's the build with the gems in as well. No, it's not. He sent me the same one without the gems, so he's just griefing. So there's nothing to review here. <laughs> this weapon sucks, I already proved it. Oh, this is a zombie build. What the fuck? Well, we know what the gems are then. This build suck. <laughs> I can tell you all the problems with it already. Your zombies are gonna die. Wait, they still run anima. So they're running... Three golems. Ew. Okay, I'll mark these as complete. Th thanks for submitting. Um, I already reviewed Rico's. He had two. I'll reject the second one, because what the fuck, dude? Okay. So I should uh, take this one down and, like, save it, right? Man, people have to make sure their codes work when they submit. <coughs> okay, this is thirst. 
Christy work. Now we got Dizzy Nader. Whoops. Did he quit the game? So, uh, my first instinct is, uh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Dude, nothing's leveled. What is this? He has... A plus to increase immortal call duration dex int lightning res ES brass dome six link He's using seven league step He's fast as fuck boys No ravenous horde on the ami You should get the ravenous horde ami anoint Your life build you have no chaos res you want the Primordial Bomb Renewal Jewel Socket, 9 point, so this needs to be an 8 point. You need to get Rotting Claws as your first Jewel Cluster for sure. That's like the primary when it's your first one. That's the like little whoops. Also, I bet so. Oh, you have a nice amount of Harmonies and Eminence, beautiful. Nice build dude, you have an extra slot, so you should probably put in an extra Harmony for that bonus. Also... So just to show you what your build could be doing if you're at, if your stuff was actually leveled up. So first thing I'm going to start here. I'm going to give you the 20 mem because that's pretty cool. Uh, 20 feeding frenzy, sure. Then uh, let's go for the 20 pride, yeah. Okay. Uh, twenty. Uh, hmm. Yes, 21 carry on. 20, 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, so we had 150,000 before this. So, after just simply leveling up his stuff, he he becomes a god with double the damage that he had before. Um, he's under res cap, and he's panicking. He took Mind Over Matter, but doesn't have the thing. He took a random point of int right here. So let's just take off this, take off that, take off this. Take off this. Get the extra jewel socket that he had. Why not? You could get an extra eminence in here. Um, he, he also should probably level up the helmet a lot. But uh, 
then you would have a bunch of extra points. You have two extra points again. You have more damage by a billion. It starts to look a lot better. You can fix your reses through items, man. You have seven leagues step on. You have... A set, like This is like a two-stat glove. It's like 3C. It's a 1C glove. This is like a 1C ring. 35. <laughs> Silver, basalt, quicksilver, quartz. Stib knight. Nice. I think that is all though. I think I just improved his build a lot with very little changes. Just really showing that the gem... Gem levels matter, basically, and what the fuck? This is right, but this one, too. Oh, right here, dude. I found your res. Game's fixed. Easy game. Now you just need a uh, chaos res. And uh, you can build that on items. And then, dude, this is going to be so much better after. Holy shit. This was probably unplayable. This was legitimately unplayable before. You could probably take this because you don't have the um, the jewel anyways. You're not using the glorious vanity. You didn't need mind over matter. Um, 3,800 life. There we go. One extra point. Whoops. Take this out. No need for that anymore. One extra point again. Have fun. Enjoy your extra point. Do whatever you want. He was taking strength to get life though before. I get that. I understand what was going on there. Um, I'm going to leave this as the build review and mark it as complete with one extra point remaining. Hope this helps you, Designator. So, uh, let me generate 150k to 355k. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Next. What's next? How long have I taken? 26 minutes. That's not too bad. I'll, keep, I'll do a couple more. I'm going to copy his name that way, and then paste it. There we go. Now that is complete. Now I will take the next one. Carry Golem is the name. Upgrades and give me percent quant in the account for mere drop. Okay. So he wants this account. See, this is a real one, dude. He did it right. XD. Okay. Juice the mirrors. Juice the mirrors. Oh, wait. my eyes all right so first instinct just seeing instantly is like okay dude so if you click this point right here and then you, you can take out these three points and look how much okay and then you 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 are actually wait so let me just show you something before i do anything actually you're missing three. So you're level 88 and you haven't done all your passives. So you have to go back and do the quest from the story slash passives. You're going to be missing them. And so you're, you have three extra levels. But anyway, so I didn't actually create those three levels. I'm creating two. I created two extra points. So you have five points now from me. Okay. So now... You didn't need it either because I was dex and I mean int and strength, so it's actually extra. And then with these extra points, you could get your extra jewel sucker that you clearly were going towards. Um, nice. And then you didn't mess up there. You took the extra sacrifice because you like it. Um, you're up to 87. Uh, where would you put the extra point now? Well, um, I see that you've done this thing, this number here. Yeah, save one point, I guess, you're right. Would you rather one strength or one in? 
Uh, you get the extra life here, I guess. Yeah. Then this is where technically you could just cut this whole middle area. And do this number. My favorite. One extra point, and also jewel sockets. Two of them. So you have harmony, three, follow three of each, okay? Let's do an extra harmony. Let's do an extra eminence. And why is you, oh, I haven't ticked anything. Okay, this might be pretty good. Does he have melee, awaken melee fizz? No. Level this shit up. <clears throat> Man, what that goddamn does to your build if you just get the 21 carry on golem. That's almost like the takeaway from this video, dude. Guys, wow. Awakened. Uh, so yeah, no. None of that. There we go. That's pretty good damage, honestly. You're going to feel a lot better with just getting 21 gem. And getting the skill tree changes. Um, and then, yeah, you're still going to work. And uh, also, you have 3,600 life. What did you have when I imported? That's a great question. He said to get quantity for mirrors. Here's the magic mirror touch. Um, so the real question would be, what did he have before? Also, you could probably take this out now. Nope. Um, what did he have before? That is the real question that I'm wondering now. I need to pull up another POB. He probably he has way more damage, obviously, but import. Oh yeah, he was missing level. He's missing points to passives. Okay, well. He, I entered it and he had 34.87, so yeah, I gained him 200, lost him like 25 regen, and I, that's because of sacrifice, but it's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Easy. Complete. Let's give him this build. Let's paste it. Let's put it in my Discord. Okay, last build review. Might as well do it. Just so I'm clear on build reviews and all caught up. Uh, hey, maybe you can help me out. What should I focus on next? Sitting only on one X. I'm a poor boy. Got it, man. This guy's name is Pink Power Ranger. I got you, man. Let's try my best. <clears throat> Import. Dude, imagine I wasn't on the screen the whole time recording. I'd be pilt. I'd be pissed. Oh god, what is that? Another one. Yo, how 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 is that possible, dude? There you go. I moved it over one. How is that possible? You know. Hey, at least he's. Holy shit, he has this. Oh. Yo, they do, though, they come up with weird pathing. I love this shit. Isn't that more points? Dude, I love when they come up with weird pathing. Dude, don't you, don't you guys think I've come up with all this shit before, too? You're trying to get creative. And that's when you fuck it all up. What the fuck is this? Please, no. You have no mana! How 
How many harmonies is that? Three harmonies. <coughs> Let's add an eminence. Okay. What's the level of these goddamn... Found your problem. There you go, dude. Problem solved. There you go, dude. Just... Just make sure this is 21. Just go get this. Go buy this. If you can't get the 21, get the 20. I'll just remind you what you had. I don't know if it was 7, but like, look at that, dude. And then... 190k. What's this one? What? Oh, this is because you gave me a POB and so you messed it up and so this is probably the real one. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna guess this was your real one, but still the, the, the idea flows. 217,000 and if you had the other gems leveled up and if you had the quality on them this is the same thing in every guy's built everyone's built so um the, basically i would say be okay with where you're at chill and you're probably fine and that just you need to level up the gems and shit and really understand what gem levels are really doing like the whole build is about getting physical spell skill gem levels and so we're just abusing gem levels and uh yeah you could also fix your flasks these are really powerful and will make the game feel a lot better you also shouldn't be running div divination distillate probably it's pretty bad but yeah either way get your chaos res up get chaos res on items that's what i would recommend focus on on these like glove boot belt etc what is this ammy dude you should uh Undertaker, what's Undertaker? Oh, okay, cool, for the Desecrate. Do you have Desecrate in the build, at least? Or is it just from consuming? You've consumed, yeah, you're getting 2% regen, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, either way, uh, most of your problem is honestly just the gem levels. And you're going to feel a hell of a lot better. And then, honestly, Chaos Res and you're going to feel better. You're already really tanky because you have a Brass Dome. So all you need to do is get Chaos Res now. And then uh, you're going to feel way better. The flasks are going to make you feel way better. That's my advice. Uh, thanks for the build review submission, dude. Uh, complete. Let's take your name first and uh, put it to the side so I can get the pace spin of this. Fixed to build. Uh, you, I don't want to mess with the tree because really it was just the gems for this guy. He can look at the other ones if he wants that full on craziness, but he said he was poor, so I already know he can't really afford it. He can copy the one, <clears throat> one cluster jewel, but really just, just getting the levels of his gems would have helped a lot. So I'll save this and we're done. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Hope this was uh, helpful. 38 goddamn minutes of of build reviewing. Uh, this is exactly what I thought I would do. And it, it's going to be super helpful for so many people who actually sit through these. Thank you to my Patreon and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out today. Uh, thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon or the YouTube members. And thank you guys for the support. I can't do this without you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!